Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mark I'm from Woodworker Source and this, this is what's on the bench, a little can of paste wax. Usually you like to use this stuff for putting it on the bottoms of your table saw sleds, your router table sleds, and jigs that are gonna slide around on your tables. If you've never experienced this before, you're gonna thank me for this tip later. You're gonna, you apply a little bit of this to the bottoms of those sleds and they just glide and slide really nicely on your tools. You will, you will appreciate it if you've never done that before. But the other thing I like to use paste wax for is for finishing off a finish, uh, especially like a, like a hard finish on something like a tabletop that like I've done over here. So the table is finished with a coat of walrus oil furniture finish just to warm up the color a little bit. And then it's got three coats of General Finishes Armor Seal for the protective clear finish. And then the wax just makes it shine and feel nice. You being on the other side of the cold black eye that I'm looking at, you can't, you can't possibly appreciate it until you feel it. But I thought I would show you how this stuff goes on. It's pretty easy and Maybe you'll learn some. Here's your required tools. Can opener, synthetic finishing pad, shop towels, and a positive attitude. Take the finishing pad, dab it in there a little bit. We don't need a lot. Don't need a lot. Put a little more than that. Not a lot, just a bit. And man, we just start working it. We just start working it on. And I'm just gonna do one section at a time, just a couple square feet at once, to give me an area that I can, I can handle. Immediately after that, you can see a really nice shine happening right here, but we still gotta buff that off a little bit, and then it'll really come to life. Just wanna make sure that it's dried already, and it dries super fast. I'll just kind of buff it until it looks nice. So a little bit of paste wax is really only gonna give marginal protection to the project, but what it really does is give it a nice feel and a really nice shine. The bummer is my floor is really uneven, so this thing's shaking around a lot as I do it, but it's not that big of a deal. Some of you might ask me if I waxed the entire thing, and in fact I did. I didn't wax, like for example, the inside of the drawers. I didn't wax actually the bottom. I did wax the entire base, did the whole top, did the front, did the drawer, did the, what do you call these, did the drawer poles, especially do the drawer poles, because that's the part that people are gonna touch, and that's the part that you want them to go, ooh. So a couple rules about paste wax. You may have to do that twice to get a nice even sheen. Plus, you're gonna go through several of these. I think I went through half a dozen of them. You gotta keep folding it and turning it to keep a side, keep a, keep a surface that's not loaded up with wax as you buff this off. Otherwise, with that, it's just some patience and 20, 30 minutes of, of energy and you got a really nice feeling project. So hoping you get a little bit of a sense on how this can just elevate the final product on your finish just a little bit. Admittedly, I am the only one who will probably ever appreciate it, but still, I will appreciate it. So if you missed my other video, here's a little bit about what I built. The base is made from heat-treated roasted red oak and designed with splayed and curved legs that cradle a lower shelf. And then I made the top mostly from three-quarter inch white oak veneered plywood just to form that outer case. And then there are two drawers with some outlets inside for hiding our phones while they charge and then a few dark inlays give it a little decoration and kind of toy with that space age, mid-century modern design. Some hardware store drawer pulls just wouldn't do the trick for this thing, so I sculpted my own from some white oak. Anyway, fun table to design, to build. Hope you like it. Hey 